You alright mate? I broke down, I'm <laughs> I saw you rolling down there and I thought I'd stop if I could see if I could help. Oh, hang on. I know a fair bit, I'll see if I can help. What's it doing? Sorry? What's it doing? Is it just died or? Yeah. You start a motor work? Okay. Stupid question, has it got petrol? Yeah, I've been to the petrol. <laughs> um, I know it's like being broke down at the side of the road, it's not very nice. Take it easy mate. Well. Hello everyone, motor motion back again. As you can see by the clips I put at the beginning of the video, um, I just had to pull over and see if I could help somebody broken down on the bike. I was just coming up, uh, I was just on my way back from Kidderminster and uh, I was coming up the road to the main island, the Cartman Wood Island, and um, I heard this dude on a uh, Chinese little 125 sports bike and then rolling down the side of the road with a big coolant cool behind him and as you can see on the clip decided to throw a U-turn at the traffic lights go back see if I could help the bloke so I went back and uh, pulled over and uh, see what was going on my crew was alright and uh, I he said he just died, got out. Obviously, first thing I ask him, idiot question, did you put any fuel in it? And uh, he said, yes, yeah, got plenty of fuel in. So, um, I've had a little prat about, tried to start in it. And um, I've checked all the wiring, wiring's fine, and uh, like, can't seem to find the problem. Took the, took the spark. Got the panel off after taking about 14 fucking screws out because it's a sports bike. Uh, got the spark plug out using nothing but a fucking pair of mould whips. And uh, the spark plug had about three foot of fucking rust on it. Uh, it looks like it's apparently never been changed in the whole, like, whole bloody 14,000 miles that the geezers had the bike. And, um, no spark. Held it against the side of the uh, engine casings. Not sparking. Carbs getting fuel. Right, okay then. I wonder what's causing this. So I've gone over to my bike. 
I've pulled the HD cable up off of uh, my bike and plugged the spark well, plug into mine and it's sparking on my bike so that like, mm, okay strange all the wiring's fine through to the back in the end it must be a uh, dodgy coil so unfortunately I couldn't do much for the bloke I feel a bit bad leaving him there actually but I, sat, I must have sat there for an hour with him trying to get the thing going again and he's just called someone to come and uh, pick him up but you know it's one of them you drive, you drive past the brother stuck at the side of the road you can't leave him there I had to uh, turn around and at least see if I could help it, even if you can't help trying is better than not bothering yeah a little 15 minute trip back from Kidderminster turned into about an hour and a half journey but you know it's worth it if you can help somebody out in the process if you can make someone's day that little bit less stressful it's worth it just to prove I'm not quite as much as a cunt as some of you think I might be yeah that's it really my good deed for the day pull over try and help I hope a brother in need so to speak yeah that's about it for today I'm afraid I'm too tired to be doing this shit I've been up for about 12 hours now on about three hours sleep so if I don't sound quite the most entertaining today I'm running on fucking empty but yeah even on a little tiny bit of sleep I still find time to help people so yeah I'll leave you on that note everybody I'll catch you later Motor motion, sign out, bye.